coming for student for a day isn't a commitment. And if you come into the culinary program at the end of the day, you're like, mm, I like making food. I like eating food better. I don't think I want to make food for a living. I just want to eat it. And that's okay. Yeah. I would rather, honestly, I would rather have a student come here three or four or five times and try out all their different passions and figure out which one is going to be the place where they're going to be happy and comfortable and like what they're doing. Because it's time and it's commitment and it's money. And those are things that are really important to all of us. Right. So making a good choice, Student for Day gives you that opportunity to really to see if it's your place. And if it's not your place, then I'd rather have you know now. Find out what your place is. Because maybe it's not culinary, maybe it's journalism. Yes. And that you wouldn't have known if you hadn't done it. So thank you for doing that. Because it makes it it makes your experience here better too. And then everybody wins. Yes, and that's what I mean. Thanks for you and every other staff member like yourself. For allowing us to have the knowledge to do it as well as the experience it and actually do it like i said it was knowledgeable for myself before we got cut off and i restarted this <laughs> um basically yeah it was an experience for myself and and i guarantee it would be for those other students and by you letting them even be aware of that and knowing that option i i do believe that there a lot of them that they may consider taking that on as an option and they'll probably find it useful and as well as this tour i found from what i got back the feedback from the students and as well as the family members to be very resourceful However, now that I'm up to almost the end of this interview, I would just like to ask Greta, what would your be your overall um, verbiage on, uh, if I may, uh, ask you to explain in detail on the success of this tour as a whole compared to did it meet expectations? I think it certainly exceeded my expectations. Originally, when I set this event up a number of weeks ago, um, I had one tour guide. I was planning for one tour guide, which traditionally I've I've had a group of about 12 or 14 people and one tour guide and it's been perfect and it's been great. And um, we did ask people to sign up, which was not mandatory. And the names kept rolling in and kept rolling in and kept rolling in. So I had to send out a request yesterday actually to my student ambassadors and say, does anybody else have an evening they can give me? Because I was up to the point where I knew I needed at least two tour guides. And that was that Maria. Point, that was Maria yeah. stepping in. God love her. Thank you. Yeah, she's <laughs> a great soul. So she stepped in and was able to help out. And I was able to split the tour group in two. And as it was, I didn't have any other tour ambassadors available to me. Um, they all had previous engagements. But it was a success in that people came and they had their questions answered. And they walked away today with a package that I put together with all of that information repeated, um, contact information, and now they have a face. So they know, hey, I can call Greta, and my business card is in every package. So they can pick up the phone or email, and when they have those questions pop in their head two days from now, they can go, oh, let's call Greta and they know who I am and they can do that. So even when I can't show somebody a room or I'm not able to, to answer the question, I'm a person for them to connect to. And I think that's one of the things that Loyalist does very, very well is you're not a number, you're a name and you're a person and whatever way we can help, we'll really try and do that to the best of our ability. And you know, I wanna know what your name is and I wanna be able to help you. One of the cool things